Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So Halloween is nearly upon us and I was looking for something that was kind of spooky but also spacey to share this week. And I had seen a lot of headlines about the giant star Beetlejuice possibly going supernova. And I was like, well, with a name like Beetlejuice, it's probably a pretty timely topic. And also the headline going supernova is always gonna get my attention. So let's look into what's going on with this star. Why is everyone saying it's gonna go supernova? And what does that mean for Earth? So Betelgeuse is a giant star in a lovely orange-red color that is the second brightest star in the constellation Orion. And constellations are just groupings of stars. And Betelgeuse is big, about 700 times the radius of our sun, which is just extra extra because our sun is thought to be about 5 billion years old and Betelgeuse is just 10 million years old and 10 million years old in the universe is like nothing it's like pfft. You're a baby, you just got here, you know nothing. And yet, it is a much bigger star. Now, Orion constellation is often easily spotted in the night sky by looking for Orion's belt, formed by three bright stars. And Betelgeuse is Orion's left shoulder. But between November 2019 and March 2020, Betelgeuse started to visibly dim. And some thought that this meant that it was gonna go supernova, which happens when a star is in its last stages of life. Kind of a flickering, sputtering before one of the most violent events in the universe. Boom. And others thought that maybe Betelgeuse had just expelled a bit of dust and gas, which obscured its light temporarily. But things got even weirder when just a few years later in 2023, the star suddenly got 50% brighter. And that really had people scratching their heads. I mean, these things aren't like on dimmers, so like, what? But recently, a new study in the Astrophysical Journal suggests that Betelgeuse's strange behavior might be because the star isn't alone. A companion star may be behind Betelgeuse's irregular changes in brightness. A new study using computer models to simulate Betelgeuse's activity suggests that the star's periodic pulsing is likely caused by an unseen orbiting companion star, or stellar-like object at least. The researchers aptly nicknamed the proposed object Beetle Buddy. Jared Goldberg, lead author of the study and a research fellow at the Flatiron Institute Center for Computational Astrophysics, said in a statement, We ruled out every intrinsic source of variability that we could think of as to why the brightening and dimming was happening in this way. The only hypothesis that seemed to fit is that Betelgeuse has a companion. According to the new models, a companion star could act like a snowplow, pushing light blocking dust out of the way as it orbits Betelgeuse, and in turn allowing it to appear temporarily brighter from our vantage point. I am saying Betelgeuse a lot in this, but it's a fun word. This companion star model helps explain the different patterns of pulsating light observed from Betelgeuse. The star exhibits two separate periods of brightening and dimming, one that pulses on a time scale a little longer than a year, and one that pulses on a time scale of about six years. As a variable star, one of these patterns is intrinsic to Betelgeuse, caused by the star's rhythmic expansion and contraction, and indicative of when it will become a super Nova. According to Goldberg, if the star's fundamental mode is this long-scale pattern, or heartbeat, then Betelgeuse could be ready to blow sooner than expected. However, if its fundamental mode is its short-scale pattern, or heartbeat, as several studies suggest, then its longer heartbeat is a phenomenon called a long secondary period. And this long secondary period can be triggered by something external to the star, like a companion star. In this case, researchers argue that Beetle Buddy could be another star with up to twice of the sun's mass. Now, of course, all of this right now is just a theory. A further study is required to not only confirm that Beetle Buddy exists, but also to further understand the true nature of a possible companion star. Laszlo Molnar, co-author of the study, said in a statement, Betelgeuse has been the target of countless studies since the dawn of modern astrophysics, and yet there's still room to make significant new discoveries. In this case, a sun-like star hiding in plain sight in the immense glare of a red supergiant. 
That is what excites me the most. And one of the cool things about Betelgeuse is because it's so bright in its orangey color that scientists think that even the earliest humans were aware of it. It has also been incorporated into the stories and mythologies of many different cultures. Ancient Egyptians included Betelgeuse in their constellation Osiris, named after the mythical god of the underworld. Ancient Greek astronomer Claudius Ptolemy is said to have described the star with the Greek word hypokyros, which translates to mean a color that can range from pale yellow yellow to a light reddish color. And this may suggest that at the time, the star had not developed into the more reddish color that we see today. In 1603, German astronomer Johann Bayer gave the star its Latin name, Alpha Orionis, with Alpha meaning it's the brightest star in its constellation. It retains this name, even though the star Rigel is now known to be the brightest in Orion. Now, if Betelgeuse went supernova, what would that mean for Earth? Do we get a cool light show, total destruction of our planet, something in between? Well, rest easy, dear friends, because it does super help that, according to NASA, Betelgeuse is about 700 million light years away from us. So it's not like a total destruction scenario, but it will not go unnoticed. Research scientists at UC Santa Barbara using computer models found that when Betelgeuse explodes, it will shine as bright as the half moon, which is nine times fainter than the full moon for more than three months. Astronomer Andy Howell said that all of this brightness would be concentrated into one point. So it would be this incredibly intense beacon in the sky that would cast shadows at night and you could see in the daytime. He went on to say that everyone all over the world would be curious about it because it would be unavoidable. He said that humans would be able to see the supernova in the daytime sky for roughly a year, and it would be visible to the naked eye at night to some degree for several years. And of course, they said that by the time it fades completely, Orion will be missing his left shoulder which makes sense. The supernova would also impact Earth in some surprising ways. For example, Hal points out that many animals use the moon for navigation and are often confused by even artificial lights. Adding a second object nearly as bright as the moon could be hugely disruptive, and not only for wildlife, but for astronomers too. Astronomical observations are already difficult when the moon is bright, Hal says. There would be no dark time for a while. Even studying Betelgeuse would be a unique challenge. The bright light would overwhelm the instruments and modifications would need to be made. It is still thought that Betelgeuse might still go supernova because its large core will eventually exhaust its carbon fuel, but that could be any time between now and the next 100,000 years. So, you know, it's a bit of a range. So it doesn't seem so much of like a if, but a when, and when it goes, it's going to be a spectacle. It's showtime. So what do you guys think? Are you buying this companion star idea? Is Betelgeuse just so massive that it is hiding another huge star, twice the mass of our sun, within its folds, and that is responsible for the dimming and the brightening? Or is it really just getting ready to go boom? I mean, 700 million light years away is pretty far, but also I think the prospect of anything going supernova is still kind of scary. I mean, we've all seen the movies. We know it's not good. But also I think the idea of having a brand new object in our night sky that is so bright it is casting shadows at night for months, there's something kind of eerie about that. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope everyone has a very happy Halloween. And as always, I will see you in the next video.